236 to present the colors, please. Please stand. United States Army Captain. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Troop uh, 736, please retire the colors. At this time, I would like to uh, ask Legislator Philip Stockton to give the invocation. Heavenly Father, on this afternoon, we have so much for us to be thankful for. The weather is in fact prepared to open again. We gather like this to enjoy God's glories, enjoy the being able to see the wonderful accomplishments of our young people in the great program. started in 2009, and uh, Martha Roberts was here president at that time, and uh, thank you Martha for being here. 
when this idea came about, it uh, it wasn't uh, just a last minute, hey, this would be a good idea. It was a conversation that took place, uh, I think maybe over a couple of years, and uh, the fair board, uh, along with us, needed to plan. And uh, a lot of the printed material, the advertising, the schedule of this building uh, had to be done well in advance. So we had uh, a resolution that uh, we address early in the year that says we're not going to be our county seat in Belmont for this meeting. We're going to and uh, Martha, that was uh, a little, took a little bit, but we got it together, and here we are, uh, 12 years later. Uh, last year, obviously, we didn't have a, a fair board uh, a meeting here at the fair because there wasn't a fair because of the, the, the COVID restrictions. Uh, I want to thank uh, the, the fair board for hosting us. Um, this is always a, a first class event. It's an opportunity for not only us as legislators to get out, visit the fair, and, and see people that we might not see otherwise, but uh, an open invitation for for folks to come up and, uh, and chat with us as well. Um, Becky and Angie Freeman and company have uh, always provided us with uh, proper sound. And uh, Becky said, if you have any special music, don't tell me three minutes before the meeting starts this year, please. So I gave her 10. She did a nice job. Thank you. The, uh, how we're set up is uh, pretty close to what our board room and our chambers look like. Um, up at the dais, we have uh, Tom Miner uh, to the right end of the table here. Tom is our county attorney, and the county attorney's office is responsible to uh, make sure we get all of the I's dotted and T's crossed and we don't uh, step off in a direction with our resolutions that uh, that aren't allowable by municipal law. So thank you, Tom. <laughs> Between Tom and I is our county administrator, Carissa Knapp, and, uh, and our former county attorney. So uh, on a daily basis, uh, Carissa, as county administrator, keeps her thumb on the pulse and uh, directs from this board to the uh, department heads uh, what it is that uh, we wish to carry out and uh, I can tell you that that is uh, that's not a nine to five position uh, I think uh, especially through this last uh, 18 months or so uh, it certainly has been uh, seven days a week and around the clock that uh, Carissa has been uh, involved in county operations especially due to uh, to the COVID uh, situation and uh, Carissa has done a, an excellent job as county administrator, and especially during the, uh, the, the last tough 18 months. So thank you so much, Carissa. <laughs> Next to me is Brenda Rigby Reilly, clerk of the board. And I will tell you that uh, the Board of Legislators would not operate, the county would not operate, Everything would fold up if it wasn't for Brenda and her staff in uh, keeping us on track, not only with the resolutions and all of the correspondence and the minutes, uh, but uh, anyone familiar with uh, clerk duties, whether it's on a town, village, or county level, um, we would not operate uh, without the expert uh, work in her office. So thank you so much, Brenda. On this end of the table, left end of the table, is Sarah Decker. She is journal clerk and it, uh, is near Mike. Watch your language because Sarah. With uh, each of our uh, board meetings and. So thank you, Sarah. We also have a special guest here, and it's a, a nice uh, opportunity for us to uh, welcome and have present with us um, Senator George Borello. <laughs> Our Assemblyman, Joe Gillio. 
and uh, Lee James, who is here representing our Congressman Tom Reed. And we will, they each have an allotment of 45 minutes for a speech later on, <laughs> of which they, uh, I think, shorten. But we'll be hearing more from our representatives in, in just a minute. Um, I believe that we have uh, some county elected officials here. Our county treasurer, Terry Ross. <laughs> and uh, the Sheriff Rick Whitney. We'll have a round of applause for County Clerk Robert Chrisman. And the District of Chief Scott. We are provided a copy of the board meeting minutes of July 12th. At this time, we need a motion to approve those minutes. Motion is made by legislature. Today is our regular agenda it's set by our board rules. Um, the call to order, uh, our Pledge of Allegiance, invocation, roll call, approval of the minutes, and uh, this portion is the uh, privilege of the floor. And uh, it's a time when we have someone that will uh, come forward and address the board, uh, special guest to speak, or special recognition. Uh, that we have at our, our regular board meeting. And uh, we have at the fair an opportunity to uh, thank and hear from others that we don't on a regular basis. But uh, one thing that we um, have carried on for quite a number of years is the uh, Pledge of Allegiance uh, being led by a veteran. Now, we have not been able to do that for a little better than uh, a year. And I'd like at this time to have the United States Army Captain Tyler Shaw come up and join me for a couple of minutes. Thank you. Welcome, Tyler. We have had uh, a, a veteran lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, like I said, for a number of years now. And uh, if it's not 300 veterans, it's close to it, that uh, we have had the opportunity to uh, have, have led us in the pledge and highlight a little bit about uh, their service and uh, give them a certificate and a, and a public thank you uh, for the time that they have served. Um, Tyler wears a couple of hats. And uh, the one that we as legislators know him best by is our public health director. And once you uh, hear of Tyler's military background, you'll know how that has led him to uh, be successful in leading Allegheny County Health Department uh, through the, the COVID uh, issues that we started dealing with early last year. And uh, Tyler came on the health department in 2010 and actually, and uh, he has done an excellent job in uh, getting information like uh, three times a day or more. And again, that's a position that has been uh, has Tyler tied up seven days a week uh, around the clock, especially during that COVID time. But uh, so I want to I want to thank uh, Tyler for for his uh, leadership in uh, our county government as public health director. Let's have a round of applause. <laughs> Now 
what he's really here for. Um, recognition is uh, his his part of uh, being a veteran and allowing us to have our meetings like this and to uh, have the Pledge of Allegiance and assemble as we do. Uh, this board is in the middle of a uh, of an election. There's an election a vote coming up in November that will determine who sits here next year. And uh, we live in the, the greatest country um, with the, the most freedoms, and it's due to Tyler and all of his comrades for many generations that allow that to happen. Tyler went into the uh, U.S. Army in November of 2011. He's achieved the rank of captain. His primary specialty was logistics, which I think uh, helped a great deal over the last year and a half. His assignments were to the 277th Quartermaster Company as platoon leader, the 402nd Quartermaster Battalion as company commander, the 327th Quartermaster Battalion as petroleum officer, the 327th Quartermaster Battalion as plans officer, and the 340th Military Police Battalion as supply officer and environmental science officer. He has a bachelor's degree in biology with a minor in chemistry and a master's degree in healthcare administration. His military schooling beyond basic training included commissioning source uh, officer candidate school, basic officer leadership course, company command course, field sanitation course, and family readiness group training. He's been awarded the Medal Army Service Ribbon, National Defense Service Ribbon, and Army Achievement Ribbon, along with Army Reserve Component Achievement Ribbon. He lives in Allegheny County here with his wife, Katie, and uh, also We do have, uh, besides the uh, certificates that uh, we'll be uh, giving those that come forward, um, our representatives from uh, Congressman Reed's office and uh, Senator Morello and Assemblyman Julio have certificates as well. So we can, we can swing by and, and grab those. But uh, Tyler, um, it's been a while since we've had a veteran lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, and you've heard me say this before, but uh, thank you for your service. And uh, if it was not for you and those like you, we would not be able to have this meeting here today. Thank you very much. current Allegheny County Fair President come up and join Welcome Karen, as if she has nothing else to do right at the moment. Um, this Allegheny County Fair, I mentioned Martha, there's been a number of, uh, a number of presidents before and uh, that have helped build this fair up and keep it going. And any one of them will tell you that uh, it's not about them, that it's about the uh, about hundreds and hundreds, if you will, volunteers that made this happen. Starting with the fair board and uh, those that give up vacations, they uh, eat, live, and sleep this, uh, this fair, and not just during fair week. 
Uh, it's like preparing for a big wedding and it's all over in a few minutes. They've been here for months, literally doing work and uh, many of them year round helping to make this clear what it is. And we know as legislators uh, the impact that this has. This year has been a banter year for attendance, is my understanding, for the Allegheny County Fair. Um, up to this point, we've had uh, a little better than 10,000 people walk through the gates here in Allegheny County, and that is setting some attendance records that it has been a long time before or since that has happened. So. Uh,